Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome and if you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. In today's video, I'm going properly into autumn and uh, with my first design, I, I think it came out so cute and adorable. Look at that. It's a little mushroom house that I love. And then little leaves and glitter and... I think this came out so nice. I am in love with it. And I mean, it's... I, I would love to live there, in there. Just in there. There you go. <laughs> or actually, I would love to live up here. I, that that would be my room to have like you know a nice view around me <laughs> uh, but uh, I really hope you're enjoy you're gonna enjoy this video I uh, hope you're gonna try to recreate these because I would love to see it and I hope you're gonna maybe add a couple more like woodland animals and uh, it, uh, you could go so far with this and make so many cute things and adorable things that would fit through that little door there. Oh, that would be so cute. Uh, but uh, anyway, I only made three tips because this is going to be a very long video anyway. So um, I already spent my afternoon <laughs> doing this. Uh, it took me a very long time to film this. But um, I really hope you're going to enjoy it and try to recreate it and tag me if you do. Because I would love to see it. And um, yeah let's get started so i'll be starting off by showing you everything i'm gonna use so first glitter bells strawberry puree um berry pie i-49 from ink london i-11 from ink london i they usually have some names as well i-16 from ink london which is classic red um i-157 sassy yellow and then Hot Tips Beauty, Cast Iron, Flamingo, these are the, their gel paints, so Country Green, which is a beautiful green by, by the way, Lollipop, Blue Poppy, and that's a beautiful blue, it's gorgeous, Coffee Bean, and Jasmine. I guess that's it from them, yeah. And then Billy from Ink London. This is one of their uh, additions, glitter, and it's beautiful. And then middle liner from Glitter Bells, obviously. And this brush that I, I don't think it has a special name. It's just from a like their gel brush collection. It's like five brushes. And this is how my palette looks like. So I'm starting off with. Uh, I'm guessing that's an Ink London orange. I'm not sure exactly how it's called now. <laughs> and then this is another brush from that uh, collection. And I'm starting off with the background. And the background here is going to be a bit... Um, basically, you're not going to realize exactly what it is. I'm not trying to make anything look uh, particularly detailed. I'm just putting colors on there to make it look like a ground from like autumn obviously so you're gonna have a lot of like brown and orange and red and yellow and whatever and then I'm putting a bit of blue in the top just to look like the sky but you can see I'm not actually making anything detailed it's just adding colors on top of colors to make it look like trees and uh, to make it look like the trees are obviously uh, you know going into like the autumn colors kind of Thing. and then I decided to add some like trunks but again they're very foggy because that's not our um, important part of the design yeah so we're gonna have the mushroom house in the front and that's gonna be in the background that's gonna be far away we don't want any kind of detail to distract us from the the house and then I mixed the colors some colors uh, I think this is a bit of brown with white and I am just making a general shape for that house um, so I yeah you, you see what I'm doing it looks like a, a tent <laughs> um, but yeah I uh, started to do that and then I started to like shad add shadows on one side so that's just the pure brown um, where I'm adding the shadows and then I am adding highlights on the other side so trying to like blend that in 
again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know that I can't do a proper blend. <laughs> and then I added pure white for um, the highlighted side, just because I wanted it to be very, very highlighted. Uh, so, um, yeah, you, you see, I'm not doing anything perfect. I'm not trying to add those um, highlights and shadows to be perfectly blended or anything. You still see some lines, but that's fine. That could be just the texture of the mushroom. So that's why. <laughs> and then I decided to add like the top of the mushroom in pure red. Um, and I use that ink London color because it's quite pigmented. Uh, you need to make sure, you know, it's, uh, it's not extremely thick because otherwise it will wrinkle. But, um, yeah, just, just add that on there and try to make that shape like I want it. And then I mixed that red with a bit of brown to make it a bit darker. And I'm adding that underneath to make like the, the underside of the mushroom. Uh, because I, I already decided to add, you know, like the shadows for underneath from this so I don't have to go back and add them later so you know use your colors wisely and you're not gonna have to go through shadows and highlights and then I mixed some red with some white and I made this pink color and I'm adding those like I don't even know how they're called but they're like slices in the underside of the mushroom <laughs> I'm not very you know technical with words <laughs> and then I added a, a little window at the top there because I, I want to live in that top bit. I, I really do. It, it looks fun. Um, but I was so... I, I just couldn't decide exactly how I want that window to look like. Because I made it square. Yeah, I made it first. I tried to make it round and then I thought, no, I need a bigger one. So I made it square and you're going to see that's going to change again. <laughs> And then I added some windows here on the sides. Um, and again, these don't need to be perfect. At the end of the day, this is a mushroom house in the woods, all right? So uh, we, we can make things a bit different here. Uh, and as I said, you know, I couldn't decide on that. So I made it a bit oval again uh, and also huge. <laughs> but it's fine. They're getting a lot of sunlight. And then I added here the door and again I didn't really focus on you know making that color perfect I added some white there just to make a bit of texture and that wood texture is perfect for me and then you know the hinges and the handle I added the handle with black and then I went around all the windows with the brown and just you know you can see what I'm doing. I added the frames and everything because I think that just looks so cute. <laughs> I just love it. And I don't know why. Uh, this might be just my mind playing tricks on me, but that kind of looks like a dog drawing. I don't know. Is it weird? Is it me? Please let me know in the comments if, if it's just me because I can't get that thing out of my head. That looks like a dog. But anyway... Then I went in with that pink again um, and uh, I started to highlight that side of the house because obviously the bottom side is highlighted so I decided to highlight the top part as well and I'm trying to blend it in but again we all know that I can't make that work. It's fine. It, it, it It's alright. And then with the brown on the other side I started to highlight and underneath because obviously you have that whole thing on the on the top that part is gonna be a bit more shadowy and then I decided to make this a shiny nail um, which is a good idea in my opinion it, it looks good not none of the colors changed drastically because sometimes with the matte top coat the colors really can change underneath um, but yeah with the shiny one you always keep the color so every time I do a competition piece I always put a shiny uh, top on and I'm trying to like make it as flat and uh, smooth as possible so that's why I always use shiny anyway next nail I'm going in with uh, the fluid rubber which is the base coat from Ink London it's a very thick base coat and then that glitter and I'm mixing that up and oh my god I swear this is probably what I should do with my life just mix glitter in with liquids 
I loved this process. Like I played with it so much more than you see here. <laughs> I, at some point I thought maybe I should just stop filming or I should just cut the footage a bit because it was so long. It was awesome. And then I added that on the nail and because it's a mix that I made, I probably didn't nail it completely. Um, so it took me a bit to make it everything smooth, but I wanted to show you that you can use your uh, loose glitters in another way as well to like build up a nail. And then keep it upside down with a bit of that fluid rubber on top, cure it, remove the sticky layer because we all know by now you cannot paint on a sticky layer. And then I started to paint some leaves and again I wanted to do a bit of like a color gradient kind of thing but I didn't make it very smooth because to be honest in nature they're never smooth and if I would try to make it smooth I would stay there for about five days and it would still look brown and horrible so um, yeah I just you know did my best without actually spending five days on it <laughs> And uh, yeah, I just did that with like three leaves. You can do more if you want. I wanted just like three leaves uh, on each nail so you can see that beautiful glitter underneath. Um, and uh, I mixed up colors like you can see uh, on the first one I put red, yellow and orange and then I went with uh, green, orange and yellow. And on this one I made, I started with red, obviously. And I couldn't really decide on how I wanted my shape to be. I don't know why. I just kept on going back and forth and... Oh... And then I started <laughs> adding some, a bit of orange in there. I think that this one might be my favorite that I've done. And then a bit of yellow, just because, I don't know, you get those little lines there and uh, it seems beautiful. And then I forgot to press record when I started to line those. And they came out great, so I didn't want to just, you know, <laughs> I really didn't want to just wipe everything off. <laughs> but uh, you see here what I'm doing, and it's the same on all three of them. I did an outline and then in black, yeah, very important, because brown, I did not like how that looked. It just, it, it wasn't bold enough for me. But um, I did an outline in black. And then I started adding those lines in the middle and my hands are shaky so shaky it's incredible how are my hands this shaky I gave up coffee for this yeah I gave up coffee for nail art for my hands to stop being shaky and they still are shaky it's I don't know it baffles me anyway then I went in with the ultimate no wipe because I needed a shiny top coat over that glitter. I mean, look at that. That's just gorgeous. It's the best thing I've seen all day. It's, oh, so beautiful. Um, but yeah, I did a top coat and then I cured and then we're done. And these are all done now and that house is ready to move in for anyone that, you know, kind of wants to. <laughs> Um, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, as I said before I hope you're gonna recreate this you saw it wasn't very very hard it's just playing and spending the time to um, blend those colors a little bit and just you know try to make it look nice and shadowy and with highlights and yeah just you you, you get it <laughs> but uh, yeah I really hope you're gonna try this at home and um, show me what you did anyway if you get any ideas of things that you'd like to see on this channel please let me know um i would love to hear from everyone and um also you know if you want to subscribe i mean i post twice a week one video is usually for beginners and one is well something crazy like this <laughs> Uh, so yeah, please just, you know, kind of subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I guess I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.